Hello YouTube, this is PS3 Gamer Videos and today I'm going to be showing you Tomb Raider 1 played on the PlayStation Vita. Uh, just as a background bit of information, this game is a PS1 game that's been ported to the Vita by some team at Sony I assume and then put on the PlayStation Store. Uh, that, sorry about that, that was just a demo because I didn't press anything. And uh, this game came out in 1996. It's definitely a classic game. Um, I'm just going to showcase the uh, the first level for you, to, so you can see how it is played on the Vita. Uh, this is a game that can use the right stick, uh, if you're interested in that. Uh, I don't know how, because I've not really checked. But for this game, you get the menu, where if you hold down the your thumb on the screen, you can get additional options. But anyway, this is the game. Uh, we've started in the mountain caves as usual. Uh, a lot of people probably remember this. Uh, this game is really nice on the Vita, I have to admit. Um, it's looking great. Uh, as it did on PSP. If you ever played it on PSP uh, with the backwards compatibility, um, it looks something like that. But I would say the colours are, uh, are more vivid. And this it, it's better because the screen's bigger. So this is a console. This game has been made for consoles, so it makes it feel more correct, if you get me. And not uh, I don't I don't know. We're not withdrawn from the game since it's a whoop since it's a console game played on a handheld. Now, that's not a problem for a lot of games, but with something like Tomb Raider, in my opinion, I would say it is because Tomb Raider, sorry, happened again. Tomb Raider needs the player to remember what they've done, and it, it requires um, long play times, I would say, because that's what sort of game it is. So, it's nice to see that this works out quite well on the Vita. I'm just going to walk. Uh, here we are. There's some dogs in here, or wolves, that's it. Oh no. Hmm, I'm thinking of a different room, but... Uh, this is just... This is basically what you do on the game. You're Lara Croft exploring tombs. And I, I like that. It's different, it, so... It's, yeah, it's just different. Uh, if, if you're interested, please check out my other PlayStation on PlayStation Vita videos. I've done Silent Hill, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and uh, I'll have more coming in the future. So you might be interested in that. And if you are, please check them out because I'd appreciate the uh, support. Thanks. If you're considering buying this because you've never played it, then I would definitely, definitely recommend you buy it because the system that is played on the Vita, it just makes it feel good. And it's a very good game. The D-pad is nice on the Vita so you don't get finger pain or thumb pains as sometimes you do on a PS1 particularly. The controller on that, it actually made my thumb hurt for playing with the d-pad so that wasn't too good but the Vita it, since it's got a nice d-pad it kind of solves that problem for me meaning I can play classic games like this for a lot longer which in my eyes is a good thing uh, now through here is uh, the bear we don't want to fall down here otherwise there's a bear down there uh, this is available from the PlayStation Store on all regions, I believe. Uh, especially the UK and the United States PlayStation Store. I know it's available on those because this was purchased from the American PlayStation Store before it actually came out on the UK Store. Um, anyway, I suggest you buy, uh, buy this game. If you're looking for something different, then go ahead. 
it's very cheap I mean it's not the same price as a Vita game and it, it the size of it isn't too bad I mean it's about 200 300 megabytes I think and that's really small especially when the smallest Vita memory stick is four gigabytes so you'll have plenty of room for this game on your system that is why I recommend it I mean listen to this music you know it's a good game when it has good music well that's not true in all cases but usually it helps with the atmosphere now hear that noise that's that that's quite creepy mysterious that's that's what I like about this game Later on in the game, you venture to Egypt and go through some tombs there, and it's really, really interesting. Thus, I would recommend you buy this game. Uh, I'm coming to the end of the mission now. Um, just, yeah, I'm near the end. Um, so, what I have to say is thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this, just check out my other PlayStation 1 on Vita videos. And um, thanks for the support. Uh, I'll continue making videos like this uh, in the future. So, click that subscribe button. And there, I'm going to make them all available in a playlist. So, you can see them all in one place with these. And once I get through this massive gate, the mission's end is uh, Among Us. That gate is the gate I'm talking about. And I'm just gonna run. Whoops, I got caught on the wall. I'm just gonna run over here and jump through the gate. And that's it, people. Thanks for watching. And leave a comment and a like if you like this video. Once again, thanks.